All right, thank you much. Well, you know, ticks are most active in May and July. You probably won't see the tiny little black leg bugs when they land on you. Yeah, but uh, when they, they can feed on you, while giving you a painful disease known as Lyme's disease. And uh, Haley Hernandez yeah. is here to explain what we all need uh, to look out for. Good morning. Good morning, guys. So ticks are almost invisible to the naked eye, but they'll grow as they feed. And as they're doing that, they could be giving you a bacteria that makes you sick. You are most at risk encountering ticks in high grass, woods, and brush, which doesn't exclude your own backyard. We found a couple of ticks in our hair after we were doing some gardening. In 2013, Doug Daquila says his wife was diagnosed with Lyme disease. We would have a conversation about something, and five minutes later she would ask me the same questions again. So that's when I knew something was very seriously uh, wrong with her. They believe she was experiencing some symptoms of Lyme, which also include fever, headaches, muscle aches, and even though not everyone has the telltale symptom, a bullseye rash could show up between three to 30 days after infection. That sometimes can be in places that are hard to find, like your fold, so in the armpits and the groin behind the knees. So if you're really looking, you should have someone else look those are sometimes hard places to check. Dr. Charlene Flash from Legacy Community Health says you may never see the tick. They're the size of a poppy seed, but the more engorged they get, the bigger risk you have of exposure to Lyme. Dr. Flash says patients need to get a diagnosis early while symptoms are present. Then she says they can be treated. When they have the chronic disease, it's very difficult for them to take care of themselves. And so they're going to need someone to support them both emotionally and physically. Now, being bitten by a tick does not automatically mean that you'll get sick, but if you're really concerned, Dr. Flash instructs you that if you do get bitten by a tick, remove it and put it in a bag. Take that bag with the tick in it to your doctor. Since only a certain species of ticks carry Lyme, your doctor may be able to identify if you're at risk based on the tick that you bring in. Now, guys, to be honest with you, I've done the same with my dog. Yeah. I, you know, I, I freaked out when I found a tick on her and I put it in a bag and I took it to the vet and they just told me, you know, like, we'll wait and see if you have symptoms. But right. it's just a reminder that everyone in your household, if you guys have been out in the woods, if you've been out, you know, just even really this time of year, be on the lookout for them. Very important, yeah. yeah. Check. Check your head. I know it makes you. <laughs> I know I'm <laughs> itchy right now. Just, just hearing that story, Haley. Oh, my gosh. but you won't butt. feel them, and you might not see them until they're already feeding on you. Yeah, Big time. Like a horrible disease. A lot of people Absolutely. suffer from it. Very frustrating because a lot of times the symptoms are hard to pinpoint for sure. Exactly. So. Yeah, and they don't they don't know where it's coming from. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, yeah. So we definitely sympathize with that. Thank you for letting us know. We are heading into it. Big time. Mm -hmm. Yep.